and today we're playing with the Datto Duo. This is a synthesizer that was designed for very young children, although anyone can play with it. It's super fun. It's also designed with controls slanted away in two different directions because it's meant to be played with someone. The creator came up with this idea when he was letting his kid play with a synthesizer and they ended up on some menu and couldn't get any sound out anymore. So this solves that problem and many of the other problems that come along with letting your child loose with expensive music equipment. There aren't any easily breakable parts on it. There's no way to accidentally overwrite your favorite preset. And anyone can figure out how it works just by messing around with it. Even a toddler who can't speak yet can have fun jamming with this. <laughs> So that's my nephew, Isaac. He was over a little while ago and we just jammed and uh, just zoned out on this thing. It's so fun. Like even sometimes me and another adult friend will just play with this and 20 minutes go by and we'll be like, whoa, that was fun. You just get lost in the flow of it because the controls are so immediate and responsive and there's nothing that's going to get in your way. There's no wrong notes. There's no configuration. There's no firmware updates. It's just pure fun. This is a really awesome, unique looking synth. I didn't even know it was for kids when I first came across it. And I was just like, what is that thing? It looks really cool. And I followed Datto on Twitter and they immediately DM'd me and were like, hey, we love your videos. Do you wanna have one? And so I was like, a uh, yes. Yes, I do. <laughs> So it has a built-in speaker, but I'm currently just recording it through this line out port. Play button's pretty obvious. And you enter notes just by pressing them. You can also turn them on and off with the circle that's going around. And you can transpose up or down. It's one semitone per push. If you hold random, as you can see, it starts jumping around the sequence randomly. And then I love boost. It just makes it go twice as fast. Here's the note length. And the overall speed. Controlling the sound is probably the funnest part. Filter cutoff and resonance here. And the release of the filter envelope. Accent notes. I really like the glide, which is even more pronounced with longer notes. And there are two audio effects. There's a delay. There's a bit crush. Almost sounds like vowel synthesis. And then detune reveals that there are two oscillators that can be tuned either in unison or up to an octave apart. The drum pads are fun, but they're kind of dinky. You get a small range of sounds depending on where you hit them. So yay, awesome, great, super fun, but that's not all. If you're a very savvy viewer, you may have noticed that there's sync in and out and MIDI in and out, which means we can connect this with our grown-up synthesizers. <laughs> 